Hi and welcome to this video on setting up Wake on WAN, also known as Wake on Internet. I first started using Wake on WAN a few years ago so that I could access my home computer either from work or while on holiday. There were tons of guides on the internet as to how to do this, but they all suffered with a basic flaw for me, which was about 15 minutes after I powered down my computer, I was unable to access it via Wake on WAN. In this video, I'm looking to fill that gap that other tutorials don't seem to cover to just make sure if you're suffering with this issue that you're able to use your Wake on WAN with no time limitation. If you're getting this issue, it's likely that it's caused by your router's ARP table. Your PC needs to be listed in the ARP table in order to receive the wake up request. A device is listed in the ARP table as standard, but it would be entered as a dynamic entry, which means that the system would flush or remove the entry a little while after the PC or device is shut down. In my case, every 15 minutes, which then means that the PC is unable to get that wake up request. OK, so let's take a look at the fix. This is a Thompson router, but it doesn't really matter what your router is. You need to select the device um, that you're looking to wake up. The key information here is less the IP address and more this value as to whether or not to consistently use the same IP address with each connection. We need to edit this as it's critical that the IP address remains static for Wake on WAN to work. This is only the internal IP address, I should say, within the network and not your internet address. So now you can see this says yes, which means that IP ending 64 will consistently be my IP for this PC. Just make a note of these details. So we've got the physical address, the MAC address and the IP address. They're going to be critical now as we open a Telnet connection to the router to uh, apply this change to the ARP table. I should say it's really important that this next part is applied on a different machine with the PC or other device that you're looking to wake on WAN switched off. The reason for that is the change we're applying is to the ARP table itself and therefore there must not be an entry in there at the time for that very device and therefore the only way to achieve that is for that device to be powered down and having been down for 15 minutes or so such that the ARP table is indeed clear of that device. So for this demonstration, I am looking to change the entry for my PC and I'm there, therefore using my tablet to actually apply this change so as not to have an ARP entry for the PC at the time. So I'm opening a connection to the IP address that I use for my router. Uh, your password may be different. In my particular case, there isn't a password. and It's just administrator as the username. Um, I'm going to the IP section um, and querying it for a list of what's currently in the ARP table. As I shut the PC down a long while ago and have left it to flush out of the ARP table, it's simply not listed. This means it's in a position where we can now add a new ARP entry. So I'll do that now using ARP add. Um, and I'm basically copying the details from the ARP list itself. So the interface is local network, um, which is effectively on that LAN. Um, the IP address I can see in the internet window behind N64. And I'm going to steal the hardware address, which is the MAC address, exactly there as well. While I'm doing that, I'll just point out in the type column within the list, you can see the word dynamic appearing. So the entry we're now entering will be deemed a static one and therefore will not be flushed. So there you go, that's successfully added now. So we just need to use save all as a command to actually save that so that it isn't lost when we reboot the router. There you go, saved. And I like to double check my own work. So I just do a quick ARP list just to verify. There you go, second entry down, a static entry with the hardware address and IP address as listed in the web page, which we've set to not change um, each time the PC logs on. So that now means there's a map between those two. We can close the connection to the router and Wake on WAN should now work consistently for that device.